What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a game that used to be near and dear to my heart, the Resident Evil series, the uh, grandfather of the survival horror genre for console gamers. When Resident Evil 1 came out on PlayStation 1 all those years ago, it took the world by storm uh, through its atmospheric environments, crazy tank gameplay mechanic, the lack of items, there was really nothing that you could find when you needed it. You really had to strategize and pick exactly how you take out these walking dead throughout these maps. Resident Evil 2 even furthered that combination of greatness. Resident Evil 3 introduced the nemesis, which really upped the fear factor. And Resident Evil 4 just overhauled all that magic and kind of took the game into a whole new direction with third person action, beautiful graphics, and even better controls. With Resident Evil 5, Capcom unfortunately started to go in a different direction altogether. They began to move more towards an action-oriented gameplay style instead of more survival horror. Suddenly, there were tons of items everywhere. You have very superhero-like or super soldier-like uh, protagonists, who is Chris Redfield and Sheva, who could basically do cartwheels and dodge bullets and fight Wesker and all this craziness that kind of took the game away from the survival horror roots. Resident Evil 6 was even worse. Uh, it got to the point in Resident Evil 6 where I felt like I was playing a third person Call of Duty game. Unfortunately, I got through the first two campaigns in Resident Evil 6 and did not want to complete the third because it had been so far removed from what made Resident Evil Resident Evil to me that my wife and I decided to just put it down and walk away from it totally. Luckily for me, Resident Evil Revelations on 3DS arrived, and this is a game that actually prompted me to buy my Nintendo 3DS. I loved Resident Evil Revelations. It took the, the control scheme from Resident Evil 4 and added the world elements from the original Resident Evil series and made a very, very nostalgic and creepy game on the 3DS. Probably my favorite 3DS game of all time. Uh, I even bought it on PlayStation 3 the next year. I also enjoyed Resident Evil Revelations 2, not nearly as much as Re Revelations 1, but it still was a pretty enjoyable romp. Uh, and so with that being said, Resident Evil has kind of let me down in the last few years. We know at some point Capcom is going to be talking about the imminent release of Resident Evil 7. And like Nintendo, Capcom has kind of gotten in their own ways. They don't like to listen to what the gamers or the consumers want. They do what they want to do, and this is evident with Resident Evil 6. Because everyone complained about Resident Evil 5 being so far removed from the, the traditional formula, and they still went on and made Resident Evil 6 a mashup of Contra and Cobra. And so now we're waiting for Resident Evil 7 and there's lots of rumor and speculation. There's lots of rumors about the direction that Capcom is gonna take and I hope that this is actually true. I'll drop a link in the description. Rumor, Resident Evil 7 to be announced at E3 will be a quote, clean slate, end quote, for the series. We have learned previously that Capcom has three major unannounced games that will release by early next year which one of them in particular seeming like it will be the highly anticipated Resident Evil 7. Now, to further fuel those rumors comes word from Catan Game CEO, Dr. Sertan Toto, who claims that the games in development will be shown at E3. Dr. Sertan Toto took to Twitter to share some information on the game, where he says that the game will, quote, go back to Resident Evil's horror roots, essentially be a clean slate, end quote. He goes on to say that the Resident Evil 7 team hired a designer who previously worked on Metal Gear Solid 5 and PT, Jordan Amaro. Of course, this is a very big rumor at this point as Capcom has not released any information regarding the next main game in the Resident Evil series. However, Dr. Sir Khan Toto has proven a reliable source in the past, which makes the likelihood of his statements being true pretty solid at this point. Capcom has been doing a lot with the Resident Evil series lately, remastering the most recent games while gearing up for a spin-off multiplayer shooter called Umbrella Corpse this summer. A remake of Resident Evil 2 is also in the works, though we currently don't have any information regarding when the game might be releasing. Despite the main games in the series going downhill lately, Capcom has found some success with the spin-off Revelation series. There are currently two games in the Revelation series so far, with the last one releasing last year and starring Claire Redfield and Barry Burton. It saw an episodic release before finally being released as a full package in March of 2015. So. Uh, basically, this sounds like it could be believable. This would be amazing news if this is true. There's been a lot of rumors flying back and forth across the internet about what Resident Evil 7 is going to be. Will it be a return to form? God, I hope so. Uh, I really want good old-fashioned Resident Evil that I can really sink my teeth into. For the old school fans, you guys know exactly what I mean when I say that. I don't want to see some super soldier 
uh, you know, infected with some type of new virus that makes him like Alice from the crappy movies. I want a regular Joe stuck in a really foreboding situation where he's trying to survive and trying to help other people survive. I want Resident Evil again. And it sounds like this, if Mr. Toto is actually telling the truth, and that name is awesome, Toto, uh, then this could be really good news. If we see this at E3, I'll be extremely excited about it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. What does Capcom need to do with Resident Evil 7? Are you guys totally fine with the direction that they've been taking the series? Or do you think they need to go back to its roots and make Resident Evil 7 more in line with the traditional survival horror game? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.